welcome back. Um, now today I want to talk to you about a little personal readathon that I'm doing this week. You might have seen me talking about it on Twitter. Um, I've had my mum visiting for the past couple of weeks and whilst that's been fabulous and we've done some amazing things, I've kind of been desperate to get reading again and so I've set myself a little challenge for the week. Um, I found this useful in the past when I've wanted to catch up with some of the books that I want to read and that is doing a mini 7 in 7 readathon. Now 7 in 7 means 7 books in 7 days. For me that doesn't mean one book one day, one book the next day. As you know I read multiple books at the same time. Um, so I have a list of a approximately 10 books that I'm going to choose from this week. Uh, it being Monday morning, I already started reading um, this morning and a little bit last night to start my 7 in 7 um, readathon this week. But I want to share with you some of the books I would like to get to this week, some of the books I've got to choose from. Now, I am currently reading uh, on my Kindle, the one that got away by uh, Melissa Pimentel. I don't have the uh, cover for it because it's a proof copy, but I'm currently reading that one. And I am currently listening to the audiobook of Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. Uh, once I get started with listening to my Leanne Moriarty audiobooks, I find it difficult to stop. So I've been kind of putting it off for a while until I had a week like this where I could read what I wanted. Uh, and that is a long audiobook, so I'm anticipating that that audiobook is going to kind of cover me for the week in terms of audiobooks. Also, on my Kindle, I have the final book in the Geek Girl series by Holly Smale, which is released next Thursday. Uh, so that is firmly on the uh, TBR for this 7 in 7. In terms of physical books, I have some books uh, that I've been sent and that I've bought recently, uh, which you will see in an upcoming book haul. Very exciting, unless I've already talked about them in a book haul, of course. Uh, first book is uh, The Troublesome Tiger, which is book two in the Tanglewood Animal Park series by Tamsin Murray. Then we have a book I talked about that I was sent from the lovely people at Simon & Schuster and that is American Housewife by Helen Ellis. Desperate to read this one and have been for so long uh, and both of these books are ideal because they're quite short reads so when I'm in the middle of my sort of longer reads it's quite nice to go away and dip into a shorter read as well. Then another book which comes out next week is Secrets of a Happy Marriage which again I've talked about in a book haul that's by Kathy Kelly. Love a Kathy Kelly read so excited to be delving into this one and it's a big one so I need a week like this where I can sit down and devote some time to this guy. Then I've got a couple of other books I was sent from Simon & Schuster which are definitely among the range that I want to dip into and when you see my March TBR video these will definitely feature on there as well and that is This Love by Danny Atkins which comes out on the 23rd of March. A Song for Tomorrow by Alice Peterson. Look at this beautiful cover. This is out now and I've heard amazing things about it. And again, this is another quite thick one, which uh, makes this the ideal time to read this one. And another thicky that I've heard a lot of good things about that's out now is How Not to Fall in Love Actually by Catherine Bonato. Um, and this is definitely something I'd really like to read this week and is definitely on my March TBR as well. And then finally, I've got a couple of books uh, which I've got from the library which are due back soon. So also make them ideal to put into this 7 in 7 readathon. And that is The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett. Uh, and that is by, uh, it is covered up by a million labels. Hang on, we'll get the cover page. Chelsea Sidoti, there we go. I couldn't see any of the outside uh, authors on the outside because they were covered up by library labels here and here. Not helpful library. And also Flying Lessons and Other Stories, which is a collection of short stories ideal for a week like this uh, and that is edited, edited by Helen, uh, Ellen O, Ellen O and um, we've got 
various different authors. You can see all the different authors on there. So this is quite a thin one as well, but brilliant because I like being able to dip into short stories when I'm doing a readathon, and they're all roughly 20 pages, so perfect. One before bedtime each day, done. I am desperate to read all of these books as well as other books behind me that I really want to read and other books that are coming up and being released in the next few months and so that's why I wanted to do this kind of self-imposed readathon this week. Seven in seven. Um, I really would like if people would join me on this one. Uh, I've mentioned it on Twitter. I've got a blog post about it which will be both of those linked below um, and yeah wish me luck. I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, and I have my uh, March TBR and my February wrap-up videos up for you this week as well. So I'll see you then. Bye.